Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm, don't mind me just sitting on the floor. Honestly, I find that comfiest for these kind of sit down chat videos. And I think this is a cute background. This is my aesthetic bookshelf. I try to make all of them aesthetic, but this one's the prettiest in my opinion. Anyway, I'm getting so sidetracked, but this week's, or today's video rather, is all the books I read in January. So I actually got through a solid amount of books, as you can see here. I read nine books. I did want to read ten because I'm filming this on the 30th and I do, I'm like currently through another, halfway through another book, but I honestly don't think I'll finish it in time for it to be counted as a January book. So you'll just have to wait till next month to see what book that is. But yeah, nine books, all totally different genres and styles. So it was a very exciting time and I'm really excited to show you guys which books I read. First of all, I just realized they're in the wrong order. So yeah. Let me just restack them. There you go. Let's get started. So the first book I read was I'm Glad My Mum Died by Jeanette McCurdy. This is actually non-fiction and yeah, it's weird starting off the year with the non-fiction, but this book was so good. It's actually like wild. It's just told from the perspective of Jeanette, but like when she was a child and growing up. So there's not really like any bias sort of in it or anything. She just tells it exactly how it is and how she saw her as a child. But it's actually like wild, all the stuff that she goes through. Um, and her mum is really manipulative and very intense. But this was really, really like captivating to read. And I honestly read it in like two days, I think. Uh, so it was a five star read for me. So if you're feeling like a bit of nonfiction, I recommend this. It was so good. Okay, so the next book I read was Caravelle by Stephanie Garber. I think I rated this like a three star read. Uh, I honestly expected it to be better. A lot of people were obsessed with this series. Yeah, but I want to finish the series because apparently it gets better as it goes on. And there's also apparently a spin off series that is really good, but it's like better if you've read the original series first. So I do want to get the rest of the series and persevere through it. But it's YA fantasy and it's quite fantasy. Like it's about these twin sisters who go to this sort of like magic carnival thing. And there's lots of magic involved and like illusions and all that kind of thing. So it's quite different to anything I've read before. And it's quite different from a lot of fantasy, I reckon. It's pretty tame. It was a little bit just slow moving and boring at times, but it was pretty good. I also hate if you read it, let me know. But so I like the main character Scarlet, but I think she's a bit too concerned about her sister, and it annoys me. Like her whole life revolves around her sister, and her sister Donatella just really annoys me. So yeah, those were my issues. <laughs> okay, the next book was one I've been meaning to read for a long while. I'm so glad I finally read it, and now I really want to finish. It. Like I want to read the entire series. Uh, I need to go buy it. But Shatter Me, which is really exciting. So this is by Tahira Murphy and yeah, this is dystopian YA, it like really takes me back to like Divergent, Hunger Games, Maze Runner sort of days. Yeah, I love a good dystopian every once in a while. It's such a throwback for me. It was such a good book, so like fast moving and apparently it just gets better and better as the series goes on and there are lots of twists and turns so I really want to read the rest of the series. This is a five star, I think I read this book in one or two days. So I read a lot of five star reads this month, which was actually really cool. And it's an exciting month of reading. So my next book was Beach Read. This felt apt because I, I read this when I was in South Australia, staying near the beach. Um, so this is by Emily Henry, and it's just like a really nice sort of rom-com. I really enjoyed it. I rated it five stars. Nothing super interesting or amazing happens, but if you just want like a really nice, funny rom-com, this is it. Like. That's just what it was, and it was such a nice read. So yeah, I also want to read more of Emily Henry Henry's books. Apparently, all of her books are really good. So, and then again, because I was sticking with the beach theme when I was in South Australia, I read The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. This is very popular at the moment. I think I want to read the rest of the series for this. It wasn't like super captivating and intense, but I did like it. It was quite like an enjoyable, nice story. And I read this in 24 hours. <laughs> so yeah, it's just like a YA kind of coming of age romance-ish. 
Um, and I like how all the characters are very real. They all have lots of flaws and yeah, they're quite like relatable, which I really like. So I do want to read the rest of the series. The next book I read uh, was Fantasy and it's Only a Monster by Vanessa Lynn. I haven't seen anyone talk about this book. I haven't really heard of it before. I just bought it on a whim when I spent a birthday voucher at the bookstore. It was really, really good. Like, I 100% recommend it. It's about this girl, Joan, and her family are monsters, and she stays with her mom's side of the family every summer in London. And right now there's someone, Hero, who's like trying to hunt and kill all the monsters. And so she's trying to save her family. I was a little bit disappointed by the ending, but like from reading it, I feel like there's probably gonna be a second book because um, the story didn't feel quite finished at the end. But this book only came out like last year, so I have to wait a solid amount of time until I can read the next book. But I really want to, I'm very excited. So this was a five star read, 100%. If you like fantasy, go read Only a Monster right now. Okay, three more books to go. So this book I read in 24 hours. It was really good. I also didn't realize but it's signed by the author, which is so cool. So this is an Australian author and this book is completely normal and other lies by Buffy James. And it was really good. It was like, so it's about this girl, Stella. She is in love with this guy, Isaac, but Isaac already has a girlfriend. And then Isaac dies in a car accident and Stella becomes best friends with Isaac's like ex-girlfriend. Yeah, and it's really good. It just explores like sort of emotions and like grief and all that sort of stuff and friendship. Yeah, it's really good. It's like a coming of age sort of book. But I love the main character Stella because she says things exactly as they are. And she's just like so brutally honest um, and like witty and stuff. It is so good. I really love this book and I hadn't heard of this book before I read it either but I would really, really recommend it. Like I read it in 24 hours and it was a five star read for me. So get on it. Okay, two more books to go. This book I've been meaning to read for a while. I got it from the same name bookshop like six months ago and I finally read it and I read it in 24 hours because it was kind of addictive. But Verity by Colleen Hoover. This was full on. It's a thriller, <laughs> but it was like the kind where I didn't want to stop reading it because it was so gripping. But then also it was so like thrilling. It was almost scary. And it's like, I don't know, didn't want to read it because it was like disturbing. So yeah, it was like so much stuff happened in here and it was just, yeah, a bit full on and kind of crazy and intense at times. But if you love thrillers, this is definitely one for you if you haven't read it already. Although I suspect a lot of people have probably already read it. It's quite well known. Okay, and then the last book I read for this month, which is quite a different tone to all of the other books, I think, but once I read Verity, I was kind of on like the thriller train. So I read Lord of the Flies. This cover is so ugly, don't mind it. I got it from the CNA bookstore. And it's literally like a school version, so it's like being annotated inside and stuff. But yeah, so this is like, it's not really a children's book. I think it's classified as children's classics or something, but it feels like it's directed at adults, like it's on the same line of like Animal Farm, I reckon. And it's a fable and it's kind of a thriller about these, you probably already know what it's about, but these boys who, English school boys who get stranded on an island and sort of like they become savages in the end and it's kind of, yeah, a little bit crazy. But it was pretty good. I'm not usually like a big classic reader, so this is definitely like not my style, like a bit out of my comfort zone, but I'd still rate it like a three stars. So it's still a solid book. And I'm glad I read it because I did want to read it at some point. I feel like it's one of those books everyone's read. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> these are all of the books I read this month. Pretty happy with, <laughs> with that nine books. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books and if you have what your opinion is, I'd love to chat about them. I read so many good books this month, it was so nice. Also, comment below if you would like me to release a, a video like showing my TBR for February or anything like that. I'm not sure, like I want to film monthly book wrap-ups, but I'm not sure if I'm going to film TBR, monthly TBRs as well. If it's something you really want to see, then I will film it, but yeah. 
so that's it but i'll see you guys in my next video this friday which will be a weekly vlog so stay tuned for that and until then bye